Good morning. This is Pastor Jeff. We are here for our daily lectionary readings. It is Thursday, August 11th, 2022. We have our three readings. Psalm 82 is our psalm reading. Joshua chapter 7, verse 1, and then 10 through 26 is our Old Testament reading. And our New Testament reading comes from the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 26 through 31. Let us listen in to the scriptures today. God calls the judges into the courtroom. He puts all the judges in the dock. Enough! You've corrupted justice long enough. You've let the wicked get away with murder. You're here to defend the defenseless, to make sure that the underdogs get a fair break. Your job is to stand up for the powerless and prosecute all those who exploit them. Ignorant judges, head in the sand judges, they haven't a clue of what's going on, and now everything is falling apart. The world's coming unglued. I appointed you judges, each one of you, deputies of the high God, but you've betrayed your commission, and now you're stripped of your rank. Busted. Oh God, give them what they've got coming. You've got the whole world in your hands. Our Old Testament reading comes from the book of Joshua, chapter 7. Then the people of Israel violated the holy curse. Achan, son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took some of the cursed things. God became angry with the people of Israel. God said to Joshua, Get up! Why are you groveling? Israel has sinned. They've broken the covenant I've commanded them. They've taken forbidden plunder, stolen, and then covered up the theft, hoarding it up for their own stuff. The people of Israel can no longer look at their enemies in the eye. They themselves are plunder. I can't continue with you if you don't rid yourselves of the cursed things. So get started. Purify the people. Tell them, get ready for tomorrow by purifying yourself. For this is what God, the God of Israel, says. There are cursed things in the camp. You won't be able to face your enemies until you have gotten rid of these cursed things. First thing in the morning, you will be called up by the tribes. The tribe God names will come up clan by clan. The clan God names will come up family by family. And the family God names will come up man by man. The person found with the cursed things will be burned. He and everything that he has because he broke God's covenant and did the despicable thing in Israel. Joshua was up at the crack of dawn and called Israel up, tribe by tribe. The tribe of Judah was singled out. Then he called up the clans and singled out the Zerahites. He called up the Zerahite family and singled out the Zabdi family. He called up the family members one by one and singled out Akan, son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah. Joshua spoke to Akan, My son, give glory to God, the God of Israel. Make your confession to him. Tell me what you did. Don't keep back anything from me. Akan answered Joshua, It's true. I sinned against God, the God of Israel. This is how I did it. In the plunder, I spotted a beautiful Shinar robe. 200 shekels of silver and a 50 shekel bar of gold. And I coveted and took them. They are buried in my tent with the silver at the bottom. Joshua sent off messengers. They ran into the tent and there it was, buried in the tent with the silver at the bottom. They took the stuff from the tent and brought it to Joshua and to all the people of Israel and spread it out before God. Joshua took a con, son of Zerah, took the silver, the robe, the gold bar, 
his sons, his daughters, his ox, donkey, sheep, and tent, everything that was connected with him. All Israel was there. They led them to the valley of Achor, called Trouble Valley. Joshua said, Why have you troubled us? God will now trouble you today. And all Israel stoned him, burned him with fire, and stoned him with stones. They piled a huge pile of stones over him. It's still there. Only then did God turn from his hot anger. That's how the place came to be called Trouble Valley, right up to this present time. Our New Testament reading comes from the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 26 through 31. If we give up and turn our backs on all that we've learned, all that we've been given, all the truth we now know, we repudiate Christ's sacrifice and are left on our own to face the judgment. And a mighty, fierce judgment it will be if the penalty for breaking the law of Moses is physical death, what do you think will happen if you turn on God's Son, spit on the sacrifice that made you whole, and insult you with this most gracious spirit? This is no light matter. God has warned us that he'll hold on to us an account and make us pay. He was quite explicit. Vengeance is mine, and I won't overlook a thing, and God will judge his people. Nobody's getting by with anything, believe me. And here ends the readings for the day.